The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Before to continue our discourse, we need to make sure that we use rebound and get back into the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit so that the doctrine which Lord God the Holy Spirit enlightens us can be the thorough holy walk of our life. That great holy walk of our life that we should not be ashamed when we appear at the judgment seat of Christ telling that we were not like that rebellious people of Israelites. But rather we did our work faithfully like a bond slave in executing this protocol plan of God. Under the great polytheism privileges of all time given to this dispensational believers alone in his uniqueness of the church. Dear brethren, the trends that are happening around in the churches today show forth the great rebellious from a pastor teacher. A pastor teacher who is not opening wide his mouth to eat what Lord God the Holy Spirit gives to them as a great commission which has been given to us here in Ezekiel 2.8. The translation tells to us in the KJV, open thy mouth. But in the original Hebrew, it tells, open wide thy mouth. The emphasis of wide definitely causes a lot of instruction, which could be thoroughly inculcated into the lives of a pastor teacher. Not only wide, but rather even further, Lord says, which I give unto thee. A great work. The words which Lord God the Holy Spirit gives unto us to speak. The words which Lord God the uses Lord God the Holy Spirit uses us when we have been thoroughly faithfully being prepared to his ministry is the ultima that you and I have to take care of. The greater our failure to understand this word, we are out of the commonwealth to which we the Christians belong to the homeland of heaven. the commonwealth of great privileges of all time, the commonwealth in order to understand not to be rebellious, the commonwealth as a past teacher to communicate the true words of Jehovah when we have been faithfully prepared, the commonwealth of opening wide our mouth to learn to eat, a figurative sense to eat, the scroll which Lord gives him to eat. For us as a past teacher to not to be ashamed, a woke man that needeth not to be ashamed. But a man who rightly divides the word of truth of a bond slave to Christ. Who has taken this great privilege in rightly dividing the word of the Lord. Who have taken the privilege of polytheism, who have taken the privilege of commonwealth, above all you have taken the privilege of the bona fide gift of a pastor teacher if you are a male believer alone. And only a male believer alone can be a pastor teacher to the church. No other method, no other friend, no other procedure will be applicable to this congregation. Dear brethren, we need to really know that we are not employed for the foreign colonies these privileges, but only to the mother country with certain specific rights they have been given this polytheism privileges. To the unbelievers, these privileges have not been given. Even they are eligible, provided if they believe in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But we are not even faithful to be like those unbelievers who have been sincere to their relationships, sincere to their work with the daily realm of their life. 
far less we think we have been given to this specialized country with the specific rights of heavenly citizen to rightly follow the truth. Isn't it a great, great shame upon our part that we are not understanding that those unbelievers are not eligible, they are faithful. We, the believers, are eligible to walk as a heavenly walk. And we are not faithful in executing that holy walk. But rather still in comparison to the morality, we are still wretched. And we do not even qualify. We do not even look. The only reason is the failure to open wide our mouth. The right duty of a pastor teacher, if you can execute it, that will be a great work on part of the believer's life. So, dear brethren, ponder over these things as we shall continue in the next tape. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that thou hast given to fellowship with you through thy word. We pray that, Lord God, the Holy Spirit will enlighten us in these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge our in Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.